Yeah. Huh? When you pick her up, it's not left, right, left, right. It's both hands following immediately. Because partly you teach them to worry about it when you pick up the reins and start wrenching their heads from side to side. Both hands following. Following more. Yeah. Feel how much you were in the way? Yeah. Okay. So let's go to trot again. Whoops. Go. Whack. Whack. Because you worried about a whole bunch of straightness issues when she didn't... It, the issue was that she didn't go when you told her. So you don't think about the crookedness stuff. You say, hey, get back on the job and go when I tell you. So now you make a walk transition. Not right now. Not later. Right now. Yes. Now you make a trot. Hands following. You're going left and right again. Both hands following. As though that a girl. Feel the difference? Yeah. Now you trot again. Better. That's okay. That time she got the point, which is I'm supposed to go when I'm at. Not sometime later. Super. Forward again. Don't pluck. Forward again. Two steps. That's right. Until you establish that same forward working trot. We started early, Fiona. <laughs> you weren't late. <laughs> forward. 8.30. Oh, I thought it was 8.15. No, 8.30. And forward again. Yeah, that's better. That's it. And you feel how she got steadier when you rode forward? Yeah. Forward again. Two steps. Two, go. Two, make a difference. Okay. Stop thinking about pretty and think about true. Good girl, Anne. Much better. Then you change the rein, make sure you can go forward going the other way. Be a little taller in your body. Good. Forward. That's it. Good. She would always like to sit a little behind you if she's round <laughs> in <Yeah>. the trot. <laughs> okay. Good. <laughs> And make sure that she goes forward and the back leg at the girth says go a little. Does she? Don't wait for the straight line. Because you had the opportunity on the curved line to do it under more control and you didn't take it, right? Set. Now two steps. That's it. Now no legs. So you feel how predictably you want to ride? Forward on the long wall, nothing on the short wall. Mix it up more. Good. Now we're going. So, then you put her on a circle and you make walk transitions. A couple of steps of walk, back up to trot. And in the walk, think about your hands following and keeping consistent contact right now. Sit before you ask. And go, go, go. Two steps of walk. Okay. That's it. And another walk transition. Sit. Sit. Close your tummy. That's better. Oops. Make sure you don't throw the rain at her when you hit the walk. You want to follow and you were working really hard at following, but you threw the rain so it's not contact completely away. Following in your left hand. There you go. Now you try it again. Left leg. And back to walk. Sit. Walk. That. One, two, and softly try. And back to walk. Right now. Yep. And softly up to trot with the right half halt happening as you go. That's better. Feel right half halt. Keep them going. They can't stop. And back to walk. Feel how willing you are to abandon yourself to her zooming instead of making a down transition the minute she starts. And it's okay to do it the minute she starts. Try it on again. Right half halt. That's better. Feel the difference when you're thinking about riding the half halt right from the get-go and you keep riding them? Yeah. Yeah. I think quite a bit less forward now. Yeah, well, we're working on walk trot transitions. Okay, so we didn't want that much. Well, yeah. we want forward, but we don't want so forward okay. in the transition that we can't manage the balance. You have to find 
that's better. And you go. That right apple. Really need them. And back again. And go. Two steps of walk. And back again. Better. And go. How many steps of walk? That's it. Think about your soft left hand, active right hand. That's it. Now you go a little bit forward. Can I go more forward than this? Yes. Can I go a little more? Yes. Can I go a little more? That's right. Feel how now you can put the energy back in, but she's not running. Now you overdid it. That's it. Forward hand. That's it. Now, do you feel your trot more through? Hmm? No, it's just beautiful. Yeah, so now you change the rain to do the same thing the other way. So, you don't push more than you can half halt. <laughs> just because we want an active crop from the first step doesn't mean we shoot her out of the gun. Yeah. Now, back to the lock. Right. Sit before you put the half halt on in your belly and use the rein only as a backup instead of all at once. Okay. Sit. Another walk. Yes. And go. Feel how you're hitting the walk and then collapsing into it? I want you to be thinking trot even as you feel the walk begin. Get two steps of walk. Wait. One, and how many steps is that? Ten. So if you want it like a half halt so that she, she really does not too much of anything. I want two, two steps of walk. Half halt. Half halt. And go. <laughs> it's one, two. <laughs> and back again. Right now. And one, two. That's it. A little more forward. It's okay to sit. Is it okay to sit? Why to sit? But don't let her get, don't let the trot become smaller and smaller and smaller because now she's at half full. Because what she's doing is making the working trot smaller and smaller and smaller and then she dribbles and dribbles and dribbles into the walk. Feel it? Yeah. Yeah. So you need to be aware of that and change it. Now walk. Right now. Walk. Right now. That walk. Right now. One, two. There you go. And although you ask almost immediately for trot, it has to still be a small ask. Come on forward in the trot. There we go. And walk. Close. Half off. Now. Right now. That's better. And right now. Follow it through. Because you make a big ask, which is very good, Anne. And then you sit there and wait and see what happens. <laughs> and she dribbles on again. And walk. Right now. That's the way to do it. Now ride it forward. There, right forward more. That's right. Forward more. Don't give your hand when you go forward more. That's right. Up and forward more. Good. And now walk again. Start next. And trot again. You notice as soon as we went a whole circle in the trot, she forgot about how to get into the walk. <laughs> forward. You can't ride little tiny trot in between because she now thinks she knows what's going on. Forward more. There. Now you make a walk transition. Tummy. Half halt. Mean it. That's it. And go. Forward. That's right. And walk. Much better. Change the range. Super. That's the way we need it to happen. Feel the difference? Yeah. Forward. Yeah. Forward. Don't settle for this little diddly walk trot that she tries to give you. That was good. So you feel the difference in how much more responsive she becomes? Yeah. Yep. So you always make sure that you put all this in place before you think about Four slides after you started to trot, then four slides after you started to trot forward. Add a little. Yeah. Add a little. Right half off. 
There we go. And back to the walk. Half halt. Good. Half halt. Good. And, and try. Did you feel the difference in the quality of the walk that time for That's it. Once more to the walk. That's it. Now you're getting your hind legs bending in response to your restricting aids. Did you feel the difference? Yes. So when that begins to happen, then you can ride one circle at canter and then you do exactly the same thing back again. Straight down. Just about, and don't prepare. Just ride. Just go now. Good. Feel how you're going to do stuff. Hands above the wither. Now you find the trot. And up. Leaning your feet. Slow back. Right. Relax and sit. Just relax and sit. Give left green a little, a little. <laughs> Good girl. Right half off. Right half off. Now make a walk transition because she's running away, yeah? Two steps of walk, go to trot. Mm -hmm. Push, push, push. Yeah, that was a big push. Did you feel it? Your leg actually bounced back on her barrel. Pass it forward. That a girl. That's it. Much better. Forward a little more. There we go. Now you counter again right now. Good. Sit on your butt, not on your thighs. Soft left hand. Softer. Good. And find the trot. Step over. Sit. That's it. Let go a little because she's there. Feel how much better she was this time? Soft left hand. Soft. Really soft. That a girl. Let's counter again. Sit up. That's okay. Quietly bring her back. Quietly. So think about shifting your weight more to bring her back, just like you did going the other way. Now you go again. Sit left. And go. Good. Soft left hand. There we go. And back to trot. Find it. Take your time. Step over and sit down. Give left, give left, give left. Good girl. And now you go again. Give left as you go. Good girl. Notice the difference in the transition. And find the trot again. Step over. Soft left, soft left. Good. You don't have to throw your arm forward. You can open that a girl. And you go again. Sit left. Good curl. That was a lot better departure. Feel the difference in the canter? Yes. Yeah. Back again to the trot. Step. Try not to make it about your hands. If she's gone a half a circle trying to find the trot and hasn't answered you, then use your outside rein. But otherwise, wait. Good. And counter again. Soft left hand as you go. Good. That's okay. She said, oh, that's different. I didn't have any help on the left back. Again, you didn't remake the trot. Don't be in such a hurry. Good. Soft left hand. Now make a walk transition. You feel how she's taking over? But sit and use your seat first instead of standing in the stirrup and pulling. Add a girl and forward. Ride her a little forward in the trot. It's the exact opposite of what she thinks. Forward in the trot. Soft left hand, solid right elbow. Softer left hand, forward. That's it. Feel the difference in the trot? Yep. Very good. Now you give left hand and you counter. Sit left. Yep, go. So she struggles and then you abandon. You feel it? Give left. That's right. Give left. Leave it given. That's it. Leave it given. Good girl. And step over and find the try. Yeah. And this time you had a much better transition. She struggled and then she said, oh, I think I know what you want. And she gave you better quality. Did you feel it? Yeah. Yeah. So now you change the rein. When that happens, leave it alone. Get a good one like that. You don't keep going with it. Super. And you're on the circle. And it's the same thing. So did you notice what happened to her ability to organize herself in the counter when we didn't even do a full circle? We went in and out yeah. and in and out. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's going to fix the left canter. Okay. <laughs> Not distance. Okay. Distance just practices the loss of balance over and over and over again. Okay. That's 
said, oh yeah, he's good in cancer. He gives left brain and she goes, so look in, look through her ears, giving left hand over and over and over and over and over. Good girl. Now you come across. And I hate to tell you this, but her right cancer mechanically is not as good as the left one. <laughs> That's it. Now you go again. Now, right in that moment where you have to push a bit. Good. Now straighten her neck with the left rein and then give it completely. Now straighten and give. Straighten and give. Straighten and give. Softly. It shouldn't jerk, but you keep doing it. Remember when you couldn't counter with her round? No, I know. <laughs> straighten. Straighten. Now, do you feel her building up speed? Yeah. Yeah. But the moment you feel her building up speed, go back to the trot. Because what are you teaching her? <laughs> You're teaching her that speed is the fix for a balance and strength issue. And there's not. So it's your job as brings the operation to say, we're losing balance and organization. I need to make a down transition. There you go again. That was, yeah. Yeah. And now you trot again. Step over and wait. Put your weight on the left. That's okay. Keep your weight on the left. Because you have to give her time to think and process what's going on instead of instantly getting into her with your hand. Now, is she running away in the car? Make a difference. Yep. Was that enough of a difference, do you think? Because you sort of stood in the stirrups and braced yourself. I probably would have made two steps of walk and then carry on again. Good. And now you go again. Okay. And now you can't go again. Lift it up. That's better, canter. Feel it? Yes. Yeah. Now you make a trot transition. <laughs> right. Stay over on the left. Weight on the left, that's it, stay over and sit down. Stay on the left. Feel how hard it is to stay on the left? Yeah. That's it. Now, could you feel her struggle in that transition? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Now you can't forget. Softer aid. Sit down and wait in the cancer aid instead of bouncing yourself into the air and getting urgent. Find the trot again. And let it take as long as it takes. Because this, the what this is addressing, can you see how she gets tight in her back, Fiona? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What it's addressing is the lack of trueness in that transition. Now you go. Sit right. Very tiny aid in weight. Good. Don't. Pop. You threw yourself in the air again. <laughs> Good. This is better counter. Feel it? Yeah. Back to trot. Step over. Wait. Keep your butt in the top. Good. That's it. Now, did you feel the difference in the yeah. height? Yeah. That's why I want you to wait. Yeah, no, it's, it's the butt. It's the butt, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So you have to give her time to figure out where to put it. How but it's my butt. Yes, yeah, keep it in the top and wait. Now, keep it in the top and wait in your cancer departure. Much better. Feel that? Yeah. That's yeah. Cool. That's it. And now we have much more throughness in the right canter. Feel it? Yes, it's all good. Okay, now take her back to the crotch. Good. good girl. Then you give her a walk break. Because now she's getting the point of the exercise, yeah? That was good, but I got that too. That, but, I, that was a good part of me because yeah. uh, my butt needed to be sitting more. And, and so healthy. you feel how the going in and out yeah. Before you feel ready, yeah. but giving her time to respond actually starts to sort out the issue. Yeah, yeah. She runs away, you make a walk transition. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she says, Well, oh, I ran away, I have to stop and start again. Yeah. <laughs> I can't just go zooming off. 